Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Girl with Goals and we have finally completed 20,000 followers on Instagram. So that is like a very huge milestone for me. And in this video, I'm just gonna tell you some secret mantras that I used for my Instagram growth and basically uh, tricks which I'm gonna share with you which I learned along the way while getting these 20,000 followers which are all organic and so stay tuned till the end of the video because I'm gonna do a quick Q&A session as well which uh, are some of the questions which were asked by my Instagram followers so stay tuned for those as well and I hope you get value out of this video and I just want to take a moment and thank everyone who followed me on Instagram who followed me on Instagram when they saw the videos on YouTube so they came to Instagram through YouTube and uh, I just cannot be grateful enough for all the love and support you guys show me every time so without further ado let's get into the video Instagram journey as everybody's journey starts from zero followers I started putting out pictures which I have been capturing whenever I visit a new place and it was like a, a hobby for me that time I didn't really see any future in it or I didn't even know if there was a future and uh, slowly slowly started reaching the milestone of 100 followers of 200 followers and when we had 1000 followers I was like now this is getting real and there were people messaging me that they liked the style of photography and if you see my photos from uh, the beginning you will be like oh my god because I still cannot believe that I used to take pictures through flashlight but now these are my photos and you see the journey right so uh, definitely believe in yourself start from where you are I had a Moto G2 phone from which I used to click my pictures and uh, the first milestone or the first picture to get viral is something which gave me a reality check as to how exactly I'm uh, moving forward in this whole process of being an Instagram blogger or a food blogger on Instagram. So uh, I, it was actually a picture of this huge 1.5 kg burger uh, which was like a food challenge and that was the first time I put out a picture along with me and I think uh, giving face to your account makes a lot of difference and that was the first post which got me almost 200 to 300 followers in one day because that post went viral and uh, that was like I was very happy that day and I was very excited I can still remember it and uh, days passed by and that time uh, Instagram reach was really great if you have like uh, great uh, pictures and good hashtags you definitely uh, like your photo gets viewed by a lot of people and right now the creators have increased a lot so I guess that's why you don't see that much reach even for an amazing photo because the competition has increased obviously but uh, nonetheless it was great and uh, I was doing giveaways at each milestone which was like giveaway at 2000, 3000, 4000 and I used to collaborate with different cafes for the giveaway and they were more than delighted to be a part of it. So that's how uh, you grow actually, you grow along with other people, you grow uh, taking experiences, learning from your failures and also uh, telling yourself that it's okay to go at your own pace. That's what I would advise today's creators because they want everything so fast and they just cannot wait to go for brand collaborations and I think brand collaborations are a very important part they give you monetary support they give you uh, a support in the sense that you are capable of uh, doing a commercial thing with them but uh, take your time uh, first learn the process uh, learn what is your niche and I think I've made a ton lot of videos on that so do check out my Instagram uh, for like my playlist for Instagram and I hope it will like start, make you uh, realize what a beginner should expect and uh, moving ahead uh, there were amazing days but with that they were there were days when there was no growth actually there were unfollowers so it's all part and parcel of the whole project 
and uh, then I started getting brand collaborations reviews where I started exploring different ways of creating content so earlier I used to just take pictures from one angle and I was done but then I started doing stop motion videos other kinds of stuff which actually uh, helped me gain knowledge like editing then uh, mostly like how uh, composition of the picture should be basic but still because I used to click from my phone for like almost one and a half year when I started my Instagramming so I think phone is amazing if you want to capture uh, quick photos or videos and uh, the journey went on and when i hit like 10k subscribers sorry uh, when i hit 10k followers it was such a game changing moment for me because i was going to launch my youtube video like a youtube channel after that because i wanted to uh, direct my audience from instagram to youtube and that's what i did and uh, after that even it happened like after a year i completed my youtube journey as well and right now we are very close to completing 100 videos which is crazy because i think one thing uh, leads to another and that's how you become a content creation on all the platforms so I think uh, you have to embrace the journey, you have to learn from each step uh, which teaches you something and uh, you also learn a lot from other creators, maybe their style, how uh, they, uh, you learn their perspective or uh, how exactly they capture the essence of the vibe which they are feeling in the moment right now and that is uh, exactly a very good quality of a creator to show your audience what you felt while you were capturing the whole uh, vibe or the place or the food or if you're a fashion blogger uh, what exact clothes so uh, i think everyone should just stop for a moment take in whatever experience you can and i think that will be the best way to go ahead and uh, later when i started changing uh, my hashtags my uh, style of photography then when brand collaborations came in i started thinking about how to make this look organic as well as something i always uh, try to push which is the brand's name so all this came together uh, through a process which is called self-analyzation and self-awareness and just write down points which you learn every day you know and uh, that's how when people ask me right now how exactly to grow on instagram i know the answer to it because i've researched the hell out of it right from youtube to google i have used all the resources whenever i had a doubt and believe me it's all at your fingertips guys so make use of the internet it is the best era to learn something and everything is at your fingertips so uh, and i remember at 13k i was uh, like mostly stuck at that number i was not i had no inspiration at all to like uh, post anything or maybe create anything and i was just doing it very mechanically that aaj ek post jana chahiye that's why i have a photo edited but there was no essence there was no life in that kind of content and i was getting at a very uh, what you can say a creator's block you can call it and after that uh, this whole quarantine thing happened and i don't know for the good or the bad but I found my silver lining which is creating content in this period then I started putting out these type of content which was relatable to Pune's audience which my page is based on and uh, it contained more of textual uh, content than uh, only pictures or videos which was the niche which is following before so that's what I'm uh, that's what I always tell everybody keep reinventing don't keep yourself attached to one thing that you're only going to do photos or only going to do videos because uh, when you try to explore that is something where uh, you even are surprised that oh this is something which works on my page so keep uh, experimenting even if you fail that's fine because then you're getting a first-hand feedback from your audience itself so i i guess that's the best thing and uh, the, these type of content, the textual content, which was very relatable, uh, got a lot of shares, got a lot of saves. And I guess that is something which encouraged me to make more content on uh, that particular theme. And it was uh, much more relatable to them. Plus, then I started making a series called 
must visit places in pune so that was also something which is very informative and very useful so try to make content which is very useful for your audience and for that you need to study your insights your insights are really a uh, a road map to the mind of your audience so please study your in insights daily or if not possible daily but at least weekly see the peak time see the kind of audience or uh, what kind of posts are getting the maximum reach so try to study that you have everything in your insights and if you learn to ride the waves of the in, uh, insights i think your instagram game will be something which you can like conquer within months and uh, then after this 13 k i started as i told you i started putting out new type of content and i saw a phenomenal growth in these last 2 3 months and now we have finally reached 20k which was like my uh, what you can say a target or a goal for the end of the year because i was not seeing any growth in my number of followers so why am i telling you this because it's okay to not uh, like to come to a standstill or uh, experience a stagnancy in your number of followers but still you got to make content because somewhere down the line uh, some PR or some brand is gonna notice the kind of work you do and uh, that is gonna click with their brand and that is how you are gonna you're gonna get discovered so keep doing what you love is what I always tell everybody who asks me what's your secret for Instagram it's just that pick a niche which you are not tired of creating content when you wake up every morning and uh, any creator you ask will tell you the same thing that they love what they do that's why they're never tired of it and uh, that's a small story of how exactly i gained 20k followers on instagram i know you guys will have a lot of questions and because i wanted to keep this video short and just uh, talk about the milestones i've talked about them but if you have any doubts please tell me in the comments below and i'll be more than happy to answer them and i hope everybody who is at 1k 2k or 4k followers any number of followers even 10 followers right now please follow your heart and continue putting out content and you don't know what crazy world is waiting for you so keep doing that and now i'm gonna uh, take out some questions which i was asked on my instagram story and uh, i hope those questions if you have in your mind will get answered so one is which i always get asked is what keeps you motivated every day uh i think i don't believe in motivation at all because for uh, five years of my life i have struggled with motivation and routine and i have not gone really well with it but uh, i have understood one thing that you do something small on day one and keep doing it till day 100 and that will be something which is like a second nature to you so uh, maybe a small habit like just uh, getting up and posting one piece of content every day at 10 a.m this is something that has become a second nature to me and if i don't do that i feel like something is kuch to reh gaya hai aaj. so uh, to keep yourself mot self motivated you need to uh, get good habits and to get good habits and to continue them you have to believe it in your heart that you want a great outcome because these small small things which you do uh, every day you may not see the difference right away but after a certain period of time you will see okay this is the amount of massive work i have done and believe me when i see the number of posts which have like almost crossed thousand posts i can't believe that that's how much work has gone into it so uh, just keep on doing these small things and I don't think you will need motivation if you really love the work. So I hope that answers your question. The second uh, one is how much time, effort, ups and downs you have faced. Please share a small story. So I think uh, you will be glad to view this whole video. That's exactly what I have done and I hope you get value out of it. Uh, I love this one. No questions, just a warm hug may you uh, grow and flourish happily day by day and i cannot thank you guys enough for all these sweet messages you leave me in the dm i am the most grateful for them so thank you uh, so we have one technical questions which is 
uh, how do you make your post uh, reach larger audience so that is a very like it is a it has a long list of answers for this one particular question but i guess uh, using the right type of hashtags and being consistent with your content are the two key points which i always follow to make my uh, content reach to people who are not even following me so please follow these and uh, i am linking my instagram uh, account here you can go and check it out because on my igtv videos i have discussed in length about how exactly you can go about the consistency and the hashtag game so i hope that helps you too and now we have a very huge question was it a tough decision to not think about getting a job because you have done masters and instead uh, of doing blogging because you also no profession change hi karna tha to hum thoda pehle hi kar sakte the don't you feel that thoda time bach jata and ab tak thoda aur set ho jate because everything in the start takes time and i so relate to this and isme ghar wale saath mein the decision mein ya nahi ya nahi suna hai let me know about your individual level ask you because maine bhi msc karke sab change kiya hai mera profession ya jo bhi kaho so uh, i definitely related uh, to the whole psychology behind this question and yes my parents were very hesitant before i stepped into it because i was i used to love what i did i was great at academics also but uh, yeah they were a little bit skeptical because they didn't know anything about this uh, particular field and uh, like she has also asked me whether uh, you think that if you would have done this much earlier it would have been great i don't agree on that because i know when i was in a situation where i felt suffocated or i felt this is not going to be my whole life that time i decided what my whole life is going to be about and that's when i came upon this which i do very effortlessly and where i enjoy the most so to be in a very good situation we need to be some somewhere where we are uncomfortable uh, comfortable so that we go on and make that change in our own heads and then convert it into our own lifestyle so uh, these are the questions which i picked from the list and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and keep supporting me on all the platforms and i love you so much for all the uh, positive vibes you send uh, for my channel for me for everything so thank you so much and uh, i would love to uh, hear your comments on this video about the whole story so please drop them in the comment section below and until next time stay tuned to girl with girls